It's time for Access the Experts from the University of Nebraska at Omaha with your host, Brandon Aximit. Hello and welcome to another edition of Access the Experts on News Channel Nebraska, where every Tuesday and Thursday, University of Nebraska at Omaha faculty members answer today's questions facing our state. Now today we have the pleasure of hearing from Dr. Whitney Gent, who is an assistant professor at UNO's School of Communication. So Whitney, today's question is, when dealing with relatives with opposing political views who live in areas of different demographics, what's the best way to approach conversations with them? Thank you for that question, Brandon. I would be happy to talk to you today about those difficult political conversations that inevitably happen with family members. My first recommendation is to remember that disagreements we could more calmly have with friends or strangers can be more intense when they're with family. With close family comes greater expectations and that leads to heightened frustrations when you're talking politics. The best thing you can do when you know you're gonna be talking with family you disagree with is to try to be humble. Recognize that different life experiences and backgrounds, even among family, lead to differing political views. Exposure to different levels of diversity, for example, or growing up in a rural community versus an urban community can significantly influence what people think about the issues that they're seeing in the news. So my second recommendation is seek to understand these differences rather than to prove them wrong. Resist the belief that the person disagreeing with you is actually trying to do harm or that they or their positions are evil. When someone perceives that you are actually interested in what they think and why they think it, this reduces the likelihood of conflict. And you can achieve this by asking lots of questions instead of making statements. Make these open-ended questions, the kind where it's not just yes or no, but someone has an opportunity to explain themselves. And avoid leading questions that imply your answer, like, but don't you think dot, dot, dot. Third, if you find yourself trying to win or lose, that's when things can quickly turn to trouble. Remember that persuasion often comes after understanding. In public speaking courses, we talk about how in order to change minds and hearts, we have to understand our audience. You might know that Uncle Brian has some strong opinions, but do you know why? What led him to this place? Understanding that can help you build bridges for the future. And when he asks you questions, use I language instead of you language. And use your own words rather than repeating what you've heard other people say. For every slogan that you repeat, there is a well-worn response on the other end of the spectrum. And finally, I want to acknowledge that despite our best efforts, sometimes these conversations are not at all productive. There are situations where you need to lead the conversation if they become hostile or threatening, especially when there is a power differential, you can refuse to engage and even leave the room. Whether in person or over Zoom, I wish you strength, humility, and understanding as you have the hard conversations over the holidays. Good luck. Thank you, Whitney, for sharing your expertise on the topic. Well, for our viewers at home, we want you to interact with UNO's experts, so if you have a question you want answered, go to newschannelnebraska.com, click on the Access the Experts link to submit. We'll see you next time. Access the Experts, presented by the University of Nebraska at Omaha. If you have questions, submit them on our website. Then join us every Tuesday and Thursdays at 6.46 a.m. and p.m. while we answer your questions.